Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're gonna make some pecan shortbread cookies. And we'll get to bacon right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So today we're gonna make some cookies. I can't wait, I love when you bake. You are the best baker in the whole world. Well, I'm not doing any baking. What do you mean? You're gonna bake these. No, oh, it's one of those ones. Yeah, these cookies are so easy to make that even Rachel could make them. Yay! Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So I love pecans. I love cookies. Or pecans, however. Or pecans. How do you say it? Do you say pecans or pecans? I don't know how you're going to phonetically spell it out down below. But... A pecan. Put like P and then a can next to it. <laughs> pecans. I don't know. I kind of say it both ways depending on my mood. Yeah. But these are super easy to make and they don't even require eggs. What? And the best part about them is they're only one net carb per cookie. Wow. So you ready to do this? There's no eggs. There's no eggs in these cookies. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so we're gonna need a few things. Let's go over what we're gonna need. First, we're gonna need some butter. So we have some, you want it, the butter to be at room temperature. Okay. Uh, so we have five tablespoons of Kerrygold butter here. Whose room? Because if it's our room, That's it could perfect. be 80 degrees. We need some almond flour, which we're almost <gasps> out, but we have enough for this recipe. This is so sad looking. Yeah, I actually went to Costco the other day to buy like some broccoli and some like heavy cream and some almond flour, and I walked out of there with a bunch of stuff and didn't buy any almond flour. I was gonna say, they couldn't have been out no, of almond flour. No, I just literally forgot it. I bought everything but, I, but the almond flour. Aw. Okay, we obviously need some pecans. Yay, and we're and stocked. And we get, actually, we get them directly from Costco. It's one of the cheapest prices. Mm -hmm. They're nice and fresh, and we just actually always store them in here to keep them fresh. They always seem like, I don't know, plumper than yeah. other pecans, right? I really like them, and what we do is, we, again, we put them in this container, and then just so that I always know the nutrition on them, I have the label on the front, and on the back is the nutrition label taped, and we just keep refilling it. Yeah. Okay, we need some vanilla. This is the most expensive thing. Yeah. Now make sure you're using pure vanilla extract. Like Don't real. use imitation vanilla extract. There's tons of chemicals and carbs in that stuff. Just a little side hack if you're like, wow, I need some, but I want to spend like an arm and a leg. I've gotten some at like Hobby Lobby and Michael's before. Yep. And you can use the 40% off coupon. Yeah, if you're not making a lot, use the 40% off coupon and go to, there, to Hobby Lobby or Michael's. Now we just buy it and we actually make our own, but we're waiting for a new batch to brew. But this is probably one of the cheapest places to get it as Costco, this entire bottle was $30, which sounds like a lot of money. Yeah. But when you compare it to like five or six dollars for those little tiny bottles, that's gonna last you a lot longer. It will. It takes so long for those things to like make it yourself. Finally, you're gonna need some Lakanto. Or you can use erythritol. I just like the Lakanto better. And this isn't the brown sugar blend. No, this is not the brown sugar blend, but you can use the brown sugar blend. It'll just give you a slightly different flavor. I found packages of this stuff at like Ross. Wow. When I was trying to buy like some jeans with Caleb. It was like so weird. I'm like, they, I mean, they sell everything there. Now we do have a coupon code if you want to buy Lakanto directly from them. It's two crazy ketos. I'll leave a link for it down below. In case you don't want to buy like your sugar where you buy your pants. <laughs> And then we also have some of the liquid Lakanto if you want to add a little bit of extra sweetness without upping the carbs anymore because there's no carbs in this since it's pure monk fruit. This is my absolute favorite. Like there's no weird taste with monk fruit. No. It's really good. Okay, so that is all the ingredients we're gonna need. Yeah. So, okay, and then we're gonna need a bowl and stuff like that, but for ingredient wise, that's all we need. So let's gonna start off with, you're going to have to chop up your pecans. Okay, so we're gonna just put in our little Vitamix grinder. Okay. And the best thing to do, you, it's about a half a cup. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So it's about a half a cup, so if you wanna measure out a half a cup, but we're just also gonna give them the grams. Okay. Um, it works out to be about uh, two ounces. Okay. It's a lot more than that. Okay. 
I'm always like afraid. I'm always scared around nuts because you can't leave me alone with them. There you go. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put them in here. This thing is so cute. And we're just going to, you don't wanna like, you wanna get them pretty finely chopped, but not like a dust. You don't mm -hmm. want it like a flower. So I'm just gonna go and do that real quick. Okay. That's pretty finely chopped. Excuse me. Okay, sorry. Okay. Those are pretty finely chopped. And that's about, you could even chop it up even a little bit more. I think I'm gonna chop it up just a little bit more to make sure all of the cookies get a little bit. There we go. I just love that smell. So that's about what we got right there. Okay? Awesome. We're just gonna put those to the side. Now you're gonna take your butter, you're gonna put it in a bowl. Okay. Like a little. Oop. And you're gonna go a quarter of a cup of the monk fruit. We don't need a whole lot of monk fruit. No. A quarter of a cup. A quarter of a cup. And again, this is the, the Lancanto monk fruit sweetener. And what it is, it's just a blend of erythritol and monk fruit. Yeah. Okay. And then just to add a little bit of sweetness, we're gonna put about 10 to 15 drops of Lancanto. You could also One, use stevia. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whatever you want. 11, You're 12, cooking. 13, 14, 15. There you go. Sweeten it up, baby. Now, all you're gonna do is you're gonna cream the butter in with the sweetener. I'm gonna beat it up. I'm gonna cream it. Nope. I don't even know how to do that. Okay. And we're in business. And all you wanna do is blend it and cream it. Don't, like, make it too much. Like that? That's about good. In my defense, I knew I looked ab absolutely horrified. Let, wait, let me get the rest off this blender. That's good, because you're gonna continue using the blender. I was totally horrified by this, but I'm used to the old one we have that every single time you turn it on, it threw one of its little whisks. Yeah, that thing was broken. I happen to really like this one. I'll leave a link for this one down below. It is a little bit more expensive. This is the Oster one, but it's got what's called a heat soft on it. So you can like press this little button right here. And it's and, a hair dryer. And it blows some warm air out so that if you're trying to, let's say you forgot to soften your butter or your cream cheese, huh. it'll soften it up without like melting it. Wow. So that's really cool. Okay, so next thing you're gonna do is you want one cup of almond flour. Okay. But you don't wanna pack it. You, you know, if you have a sifter, you can sift it. So just kind of, here. So don't pack it in, just you want it like loose. There you go, that's perfect. I did it perfect. Okay. Okay. Then we're gonna go one teaspoon of vanilla. Mmm, wait, hold on. <laughs> Don't it smell good? You smell awesome. And then let me get your cookie scoop. So fill up this whole thing. Yep, dump Oop. that in. Okay. And then finally, you're going to just put all your pecans in. Mm. I want to get them all, all the little dusties. Now you can also increase the pecans a little Oop. bit. There's some that like was hiding out on the side. There's actually some stuck in here too. Hey, if it's in my macros, I want them all, okay. right? Okay, now that all you're gonna do is just use your beater. Oh, okay. And go ahead and blend it. No eggs. This is like weirding me out. Now it's gonna be a really loose consistency, but what's gonna happen is it's gonna get packed together. pretty good to me. Yeah. Just make sure you get it all out of the beater. Bang it up against the side. There you go. There you go. You that didn't know you can do that. I did you? not know I could do that. Okay. Did I get all this stuff? Yeah, now you can kind of mix it around a little bit more with that because you got stuff all over that now. There you go. Now that your fingers are in our cookies. Sorry! Like you thought you were getting some of these. All right. Okay. okay. Now let's just kind of give them an idea of like 
this how is much what it's your making? batter is going to look like. Okay, so it's it's like kind of buttery dough. Yeah. Okay, so that's about the consistency you want. It is still weirding me out. There's no milk and there's no eggs in there. Okay, so now there's two ways you can do this. Okay. okay? You can, if you want to, you can use a cookie scoop. Mm -hmm. With the cookie scoop, you're probably, with this, you're if you use this size cookie scoop, you're right. going to probably get about 10 to 11 cookies. Or if you really want to be precise, you can weigh each one out on your scale. It's going to be about 21 to 22 grams per cookie. I ain't weighing these cookies. Okay. Oh, wait, sorry, Charity. She's like, bye, I'm on cat, my way. Cat photo bomb. <laughs> Let's get her down. We're cooking here. Okay. So what I would tell you is don't super pack it, but you are going to have to, you're going to have to roll these in your hand. Oh, okay. So the idea is so, so like, just, so that's like we're in the vicinity. Yeah. And then roll it. Just, just drop them on for now. They're so cute. I would shoot for about 12 cookies but it's just gonna com completely depend on how big is your scoop? My scoop is just right. Look at this. Now you do, wait a second. You do wanna get them packed in there because you oh. don't want it like that. So like use your fingers and pack it in the scoop. Like that? A little bit more. Like that? Yeah. Now again, when I do this, I do prefer to take the extra time to weigh out the dough and then divide it by 12. This way I know every cookie because the bottom line is, I know you're laughing at me, but if you're like meticulously tracking your macros, you want to know exactly what you're having as opposed to having one cookie be 190 calories and one cookie being like 80 calories. But right? I don't want to be honest. <laughs> We've talked about this. I want to fudge the numbers. So it looks like you've got about 10 cookies. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be a whole cookie. No. I'm going to add him. Who looks sad? Who's Just put it on this Who's one tiny? Over. Okay. So now what I'm, now what you want to do is just go back and kind of roll them out a little bit into balls. Aww. Okay, so I do this a lot at church with Play-Doh. I am awesome at making little balls with Play-Doh. And the kids are like amazed. Like, how did you do that? I'm like, there you go. Trying to keep it as a ball. Not an egg. There's no eggs in this. No eggs in this. So did you make pecan shorties a lot before keto? I used to make them because I, I really like them. And it kind of reminds me of, you know, because I come from the German background, it mm -hmm. reminds me of like the Pfeffernus cookies. Oh my goodness. The Anis, you know, where you would get them and you would make them usually with pecans and then you would roll them in powdered sugar. They had a licorice in them, huh. like anise cookies or something like that. Oh, uh -huh. we did not make cookies growing up. I was from the Chips Ahoy family. My parents never bought Chips Ahoy. It was, you're making your own or you're not eating them. Well, we were like, what is the generic version of Chips Ahoy? Chips Bon Voyage? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so now what you're going to do now, one thing about these cookies, they are not going to really spread. So you oh. want to go through and just kind of press them down. Okay. And the thinner you press them, obviously that's pretty much where they're going to end up. But I like that because then you can count on it. Right. Like looking that way. These would probably be really good for like a cookie cutter. Uh, not really. You don't it think wouldn't so? wouldn't work like that, no. Oh. <laughs> Especially because there's nuts in there. Okay, so you've got 10 cookies. Clearly I don't cook. These are gonna go in the oven. You, by the way, I did forget to say, you're gonna preheat your oven 325 degrees and we're gonna go in there for about 20 minutes until they turn golden brown. Awesome. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes. The cookies should be done. Why don't you go ahead and get them? Because it smells awesome in this place. <laughs> Look at that. How about them apples? We're not apples or cookies. Okay, so the cookies are done. They look like cookies. This is what they should look like. They're really not cookies. They're more of a shortbread, but a light golden brown around the edges. Now again, we're cooking with almond flour, so you mm -hmm. wanna let these sit. If you try to pick these up right now, they're just gonna fall apart. So we're gonna let them sit for about 10 minutes and then we'll come back for a taste test. Yay! So it's been about 10 minutes. Rachel can't wait anymore. I know, this is the best part of any recipe, really, <laughs> is the tasting. Okay, so now the, the longer you let these cool, they're gonna get a little bit harder and harder, so they're probably okay. still a little soft. So just go ahead and grab one. Ooh. Okay, I'll go ahead and show you. When it, it's blowing out a little bit, so. Okay, so you can see nice and soft inside. Nice. Are you ready? 
Yeah. Wow. What do you think? Oh my goodness, this is delicious. Perfect amount of sweetness. Definitely. You can even probably have dialed back a little bit on the liquid monk fruit. No, man, this well, is I'm awesome. Used to, I'm used to like shortbread cookies not being quite as sweet. Mm. But this is like the perfect amount of sweetness. Every bite has some pecan in it. Wow. Nailed this recipe, Rachel. Good job. <laughs> Wow, that's good. Now, if you let them sit a little bit, like I said, they'll get a little bit harder, and they're great for dunking. Oh, my goodness, they're good. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to have to come back with coffee. So let's go over the nutrition on these. Okay. Okay, so you got 10 out of this recipe. So based on 10, each cookie is going to be 163 calories per cookie. That's not bad. Nope, not bad, especially because you can almost use these as a little bit of a fat bomb because pretty much every ingredient is high in fat. Oh. You're looking at 15 and a half grams of fat per cookie. Wow. Only three grams of protein. Because no eggs. Because there's no eggs in it. All okay, right. so then you're looking at about seven and a half total carbs per cookie, mm -hmm. one and a half grams of fiber. Right. Okay, so that's going to bring you down to six. Oh, and then it's all sugar and alcohol. And then you have five grams of sugar alcohol per cookie when you're using the Lakanto monk fruit, the classic monk fruit sweetener. Yeah. Now we up the sweetness a little bit by adding the liquid Lakanto. Which I don't think you'll be sad about. Instead of adding more granular. But yeah, yeah, but what I'm saying is if you would have added more granular, you'd be adding more carbs, whereas the liquid Lakanto doesn't add any carbs to it. But you need to have some granular to You need to have some to granular, work. otherwise it's just not going to work right. You won't get the proper texture. Oh, okay. You could cut back on it a little bit and up the liquid, the liquid one, but you couldn't cut it all out completely. It just okay. won't have the right texture in the end. Good to know. So... Did a great job. I'm so excited. I'm really proud of you. Yeah. And, and these aren't $3 a cookie. Nope. Not You're $3 looking for a cookie. An inexpensive it's snack. A nice little thing. And again, let them cool a little bit more. They're going to get a little bit harder. Great for dunking in your coffee. I think you're just trying to make me not eat this whole tray right now. Like, pace yourself, Rachel. Don't eat the whole tray at once. Well, that is our video for today. If you guys make these, let us know down in the comment section. And let us know what your favorite kind of cookie is. Oh, yeah. If you have a recipe, share it, please. Yeah. So if you like what you saw today, do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time I make some awesome recipe with cookies in it, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.